Hello everybody, it's Jen. I have a fun gnome theme card for you today. I'm using the No Matter What stamp set by Heffy Doodle, which has the most fabulous sentiments. I brought in Oh Gnome by Lawn Fawn as well. I wanted to use the three mushrooms in that set. Using some swirly cloud dies here, I just have them on a piece of cardstock and I run them through my die cutting machine all at once. And the Grassy Lass Border dies. Heffy Doodle has the best names for their products. So I'm going to start with the coloring here, moving through this initial part fairly quickly, doing it for one of the little gnomes and then kind of cutting out the coloring for the other two. I am so excited to have joined the Heffy Doodle design team. My first design team project won't be up until late November. But they have recently started challenges over on the Heffy Doodlers Facebook group. And so I really wanted to participate in that. It's the first challenge. They'll be happening every month. This month, it's a fall themed project that we need to make for the challenge. So the focus needs to be a Heffy Doodle product, but you can use other products in combination with that. And it's open till November 3rd, so if you want to participate and you aren't a member of the Heffy Doodle group, I will leave that in the description box below. If you are a member, then you have a few days left to get your fall theme card in. There's a fantastic gift certificate prize for the winner, so you definitely want to check that out. So for the coloring, I wanted to go with some darker, rich colors for autumn. So typically, I think gnomes are associated with summer and kind of that garden gnome bright colors. But to turn this into more of an autumn card, I went with some rich blues, a really nice dark orange color. I'm bringing in an E marker, so a brown tone, the E09, as my darkest and then my YR18 and my YR4. I'm doing mostly three color blends for these little gnomes. They're quite tiny, so a two or three color blend is all you really need. Most of the highlights will show up on their hats, which just gives them some nice bright highlights on their little beings. They're so stinking cute. So when I started this card, I wasn't quite sure where I was going with it, but I was hoping I could fit all three of these little cuties onto the card. So you'll see how this develops as we get to the stage of putting the card together. But basically, just going to color them up each in one color. I'm leaving their little pants so that I can color them white. And then I'll give them all some accents in some black and gold. So here's our third little gnome. I'm using some olive greens. The YG99 is my darkest. The YG95 is my midtone. And then the YG93 for my lightest color. So with all of them, I'm really kind of leaving the darkest shades to the left hand side of their hats. There'd be a little shading where their tip of their hat tips over. And then underneath their chins would have a shadow as well and where their arms meet their body. For the little girl, there would also be some shadows under her apron. So that's how I colored up the shading for this little card. And really simple images to color. So it was nice and quick coloring. For the accents, I'm going to bring in a two color blend here. So I'm just using the C7 and the C5. I'm doing the belts on the little male gnomes and then all of their shoes. For her apron and the pants on all of them and the collar on our little guy in the middle, I'm just using C1 and C00 to give the white a little bit of shading and dimension. Then I'm going to go ahead and color their hair and beards, and I decided to do this all the same color. So I'm bringing in some warm grays here. I'm using W3 and W1, and then I'm going to blend that out with my colorless blender. So that will just make it look like they have some white hair. I thought that would be cute, and I decided to use the warm grays because it gives that soft gray feeling that goes well with autumn. 
So once I get them finished, I decided to use this marker here. This is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in gold. And I was just going to do it on his little belt buckle, but then I really liked it and wanted to continue it on all three of them. So I added some to her apron and the little notches on the belt of the third little guy. So here we are creating the card. I went ahead and cut some light blue cardstock with a stitched rectangle die and then some olivey green cardstock with the grassy lass borders. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So I'm using my embossing buddy there to ensure that there's no static and my embossing powder won't stick to any areas I don't want it. I'm going to go ahead and ink up my sentiment that says there's no one like you with my Versamark ink and then I'm going to heat emboss that with some white embossing powder. I will have lots of white in this card particularly with the clouds that I add to the sky so I thought having a white sentiment on the bottom of the card would balance that out nicely. So just going to clean up my area here where there was some embossing powder. I think I stuck my finger and it stuck to my fingerprint. Then I'm going to heat emboss this. I'm just going really quickly from front to back. I did let that dry a little bit and then I'm using my microfiber cloth to just get rid of the residue from the powder. So I did have a tad bit of warping. I'm using my ATG gun here just to put down lots of adhesive and then I'll go ahead and I will add this to my card base. I don't know what I did with this card base, but it was not cut straight at all. So I'm just going to trim that up really quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and play around with my images. So to the right hand side, you can see all the little elements I colored and die cut that I was hoping to use on my card. And so now I'm just kind of figuring out how to place them on here. So I decided to have the little green guy up on the top of the mushrooms and he's going to be giving our little girl gnome a flower. I just loved the other gnome and really wanted him on there so I put him to the left hand side of the card and he's going to be holding a flower out to her as well. I don't know if it's kind of sad that he's behind her with this big smile holding out a flower to him and she's like so intent on staring into the eyes of the other green little gnome but the orange little guy has a smile on his face so obviously he's happy regardless and I just kind of went with the theme of the sentiment of there's no one, no one like you. Kind of thinking like the little girl gnome was the one and only for both of them and they were both vying for her attention. So that was the inspiration for this card. I did pop up the gnomes on some foam tape. I did need to add a little bit of foam tape to both of the little heart flowers for both of the gnomes here. So I'm just going to place that behind their hands. I did need to add a little bit of extra foam tape so that it would not get crushed behind him there. I will add a little bit of a liquid adhesive under his hand and then I'll just press that down a little bit so that it, it adheres. So then I'll work on the right hand side of the card. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted those two mushrooms placed so I do play around with them a little bit trying to figure out where I want them and how I think it looks best to balance out both sides of the cards with the pop of the red in those mushrooms. Now I did use a darker red color combination for those mushrooms. I used R89, R no, I used R59, R39, and R29. So that gives that dark red autumn feel as well, as opposed to using like an R29, R24, and an R22, which would be a much brighter red. So I finally decided where I want the mushrooms to be. I'm going to go ahead and pop down our little gnome here, but I wanted to make sure I got that smallest cloud behind him before I adhered him to the card panel. I'm going to adhere down this second little mushroom to the left hand side and then I will go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of cardstock underneath that mushroom because it was there was a gap between it and the card panel given the bottom of the mushroom was popped up on the grass. 
So that will just give the same height behind the mushroom as our little grassy border. Going to add our little girl gnome here onto the card now, just popping her up on some foam. And then I'll get her into place. I'm going to kind of tilt her a little bit so she is looking right at him and she just has a big old smile on her face, which is super cute. Then I'm going to add the other two clouds. I'm just trying to fill in the space at the upper area of this card. And then I colored up a few of the little butterflies that come in the stamp set in this orange color, the same that I colored the outfit on the orange little gnome. And I thought that those would look like monarch butterflies, which I typically associate with the end of summer and the beginning of fall. To finish this off, I thought I would add a little bit of sparkle. I'm using my Spectre Noir sparkle pen here and I'm just going to add it to all the clothing on our gnomes. I also added it to the butterflies. Then I'll bring in my white gel pen uh, and add a few highlights and some polka dots to the butterflies. I also brought in my Nouveau Glaze to add some dimension to the dots on all of the mushrooms. So this will dry, black, dry back clear, but it will just add a little bit of detail for the mushrooms. And that's it for the card today. So I hope you will join in on the fall challenge over on the Heffy Doodlers Facebook group page. And I look forward to sharing more Heffy Doodle projects with you as part of the design team. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day. I've got a couple more videos here for you. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you know every time I put a video out, I will be starting the holiday card series very shortly. So stay tuned for that. See you soon. Bye.